it's news time. Information is power. The current. 2023, we won't allow any presidential candidates use restructuring as campaign material. Afeniferi, the pan-Yoruba social-political social organization, Afeniferi has declared that it will not allow presidential candidates of any political party to use the promise uh, to restructure Nigeria as a campaign tool in the 2023 election. In an exclusive interview with Daily Independent, Chief Ayo Adebanjo, the elder statesman and acting national leader of the organization, said that the issue of Nigeria's restructuring is long overdue and must be settled before 2023 elections. In the same vein, the dialogue our president recommended for Israel and Palestine is not different from meeting with ethnic nationalities and other stakeholders in Nigeria that we would that we have been advocating for. With the president stating his positions on these issues on the global arena, it is hoped that it would give a nod for them to be immediately affected in Nigeria. Afeniferi again reiterated its position that restructuring remains the panacea to solve the most severous problems bedviling the country now. And we insist that this restructuring should be done before next elections in the country. In the meantime, every community must be at alert to realize that they must defend themselves from bandits who seem to have declared war on Nigeria, it said. The group also noted, with serious concern, the security problems that we are festering in the country. The meeting, therefore, for the obtained time, called on the federal government and security agencies to buckle up and, more, and be more decisive in the way they tackle security issues that have been living in Nigeria painful, short and brutish. We call on the government and security agencies to stop the kid glove treatment with which terrorist organizations uh, have, have been kidnapping people and the way they have been handled thereof. Afeniferi believes that terrorism and related vices, including kidnapping, are on the increase, in part because of the double standard being played by the government and security agencies on the matter, it said. The communique, signed by Comrade Jari Ajayi, National Publicity Secretary of Afeniferi, added that it is a known fact that Afeniferi strongly stands by the Southern governors in their resolution on anti greasing laws, on value added tax and on the person of Southern extraction becoming the president of Nigeria in 2023. We note with delight the cuts, judgments that empowers the states to collect VAT. We urge states' governments to further explore more areas to deepen democracy and enhance the frontier of true federalism in Nigeria. We therefore commend the steps taken by governors of the Southwest on the establishment of security networks like Amotekun and also in the southeast, the Ebubiagu. We urge the national authorities to let those security networks be transformed into state police forces. We strongly believe that doing so will arrest the pace at which Nigeria is fast descending uh, when it comes to the state of Anomi, with respect to the terrorism on the increase in Nigeria. And this is the Afeniferi reacting to the federal government uh, about restructuring. This social political organization called the Afeni Ferry are uh, actually calling the federal government under President Muhammadu Buhari to take restructuring uh, serious, saying that uh, the, you know, the president is actually went for a, the United Nations General Assembly, the 76th session, and um, he actually recommended dialogue to resolve the Palestinian and Israeli issue. And the Afeniferi is of the opinion that if the president can actually be advising that there should be a dialogue between the Palestinian and Israeli to resolve the issues between them, then the president himself should be able to do a uh, search and follow the status quo, saying that the Afeniferi has been advocating uh, that restructuring is similar to the reform that President Muhammadu Buhari wants to see at the United Nations, saying that the dialogue that the president recommended for Israel, Israel and Palestine is not different from meeting with ethnic nationalities that are also, also clamoring for same. And therefore, they say that the president stating his position, uh, with the president stating his position on these issues, you know, 
are on the global arena now it is also hoped that so far you can see it in the public space like that therefore he should also be able to do same uh, in his country afeni ferry says that uh, their position about restructuring remains the same because that is the panacea that is the solution to solve the multivarious problems bedviling the country now and that they insist on restructuring uh, in nigeria and this should be done before the next election in 2023 in the meantime uh, that the restructuring will take place the affinity fair is of the opinion that the local community should go on with the security uh, with you know defending themselves uh, when it comes to the security issues saying that uh, they must defend themselves from bandits who have seemed to declare war on nigeria and that uh, the group also noted that there are serious concern uh, about the security problems in nigeria and the federal government seems to be quite silent about this because they have failed to declare this terrorist organization uh, de de declare these people as terrorist organization just like the fulani killer 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 men and also the boko haram uh you know boko haram is actually declared but the fulani men and some unknown, unknown gunmen you know the, the situation is pathetic they kill police officers they kill unarmed citizens you know and many other atrocities being committed by these people and they are very very of the opinion that the governments and security agencies need to buckle up and be more decisive in the way they tackle security issues that have been made, making uh, Nigeria Nigerians living in pains and um, you know brutish circumstances. Therefore, they call on the government and security agencies to stop their kid glove treatment, their pampering of terrorists and kidnappers because they are not handling them the way they should. And the Afghan very believes that terrorism and related vices, including kidnapping, are on the increase in the parts of the country because of the double standard being played by the government and security agencies on this matter. And the communique was signed by Comrade Jari Ajayi, the national publicity of the Afeni Ferry, saying that it is a known fact that Afeni Ferry strongly stands by the southern governors in their resolution on uh, anti grazing laws and also the value added tax and on the person of southern extraction becoming the president of Nigeria. And this were the agreement, because we know that the anti grazing law, uh, you know, about the killer aids men taking cows, roaming about like that, and this has been stopped. They, they are saying that they are in support of it, and also that the value added tax, you know, both Lagos and River State that are, that are still at the courts, you know, that they support it too, and also that the South, like the presidential, uh, you know, bid should actually be zoned back to the south that they also support this and they note that they deny that the court's judgment that empowers the states to collect VAT is actually uh, should actually be followed and they urge the state governments to further explore more areas to deepen democracy and enhance the frontier of true federalism in nigeria thanks for listening